the cycle is going to start with you. That's right. It stops with you. This is your God ordained season where you're going to be delivered. Ecclesiastic tells us that there's a time and there's a season for everything, for all things. God is going to allow you to go through seasons of winter. He's going to allow you to go through these tough seasons. But I want you to under, understand that God is going to stop the process where the enemy is trying to destroy you tooth and nail. God is going to bring this process to a halt. God is going to bring this process that you've been going through with for years, for the past seven years. This is a, this is a prophetic word for you. To those of you who are tuning in, hear you the word of the Lord today. For the past seven years, you may have gone through seven years of famine. But you're getting ready to go through seven years of increase, multiplication, excess. You're getting ready to go through these years of abundance. God chose you and the process stops with you. This negative cycle, it stops with you. It feels like it's never going to come to an end. But today is the day that it comes to an end. By faith, believe, and you have to receive. It doesn't have to look like things are changing. But in the realm of the spirit, things are always shifting. Things are always changing and they're always changing in your favor. They're always shifting in your favor because God has ordained this breakthrough. God has ordained this deliverance for you. The enemy wants you to believe that you're never going to come out of this. Do you hear the thundering? Glory be to God. That is confirmation to those of you who are tuning into this video who think, that you're on your last leg, who think you're not going to come out of this. You have to see your way already out. You have to envision yourself already out. As you can see yourself out, you're going to get out of this thing faster. God said there's a time, there's a, there's a place for all things. There's a time, there's a season for all things. You're not getting picked on because you're weak. No, God has ordained this. God has ordained this because God has something great in mind for you. God has something immaculate in mind for you. This is going to be massive for you. This is not going to be anything small. It's not. You think about how long you've endured this. You think about how long you've been going through this. God is going to reward you for that. He's going to reward you. And God said, I'm going to give you double for your trouble. God said, I'm going to give you double for your form of shame. That process is stopping right now. The process stops with you. That negative cycle, it stops with you. Why do you think you've been sought after by the kingdom of darkness? Not because something's wrong with you. Not because you're weak. Because you are strong. Because you have kingdom written all over you. You have favor written all over you. You have chosen, stamp, and mark all over you. Whenever you are the chosen, whenever you are the call of God, whenever you are the chosen, it stops with you. You are the person that these generational curses are going to stop with. You are the person that God has chosen. God has said no more. It stops with you. The debt is going to stop with you. The divorce is going to stop with you. Bad relationships is going to stop with you. Poor health is going to stop with you. Disobedient and rebellious children is going to stop with you. All these witchcraft prayers that people have prayed against you, even in your own bloodline. This thing goes back seven generations. God said today it stops with you. It is going to be a God-ordained day of deliverance for you. Today is the day of your breakthrough. Today is the day of your deliverance. Today, now, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, now. Because now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of the things that you cannot see. The enemy just held up your prayer. There's a spiritual warfare going on in the heavenlies. This battle that we fight, this thing is spiritual. This thing is not carnal. Ephesians 6 tells us why we war, what we war against. We're not warring against people. Get your mind off of people. It's not that people that hate you. It's not the person that's trying to put stomach blocks in your way to cause you to fail. It's not that person. 
It is the enemy inside that person. The Bible tells us Satan is going back and forth in the earth. He's just roaming, walking around, looking to see who he can devour. He's looking to see who he can trip up. Satan is looking for who he can destroy. He's looking for ways he can steal, kill, and destroy. Satan is looking for ways to take what rightfully belongs to you. And today, I want you to share this message with 100 people. I want you to share this message with 100 people hundred people that you know that you're close to i want you to share this message because this process that you've been going through with it stops with you the book stops with you all of this hell that you're going through with all of this destruction that you're going through with all of this mayhem that you're going through with all of these negative cycles that you've been going through with for years and years and years it stops with you god is stopping the process God is giving you an ordained day of deliverance. God is giving you a, a God ordained day of breakthrough. He's giving you these God ordained days because God has assigned someone to bless you. God has assigned someone to meet your need, just like the Shunammite woman. And the prophet came and he asked her a food. And she only had a meal that she was preparing for herself and her son to die. But what she needed was in the man of God's hand. And that prophet was a type shadow of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Whatever you think is going to be your last, God said, I'm going to use that very thing that you think is your last. And I'm going to multiply that thing for you to give you an abundance, to give you an increase, to give you a good measure, to give you a press down, to give you a shaking together and running over a blessing. God said, I'm the one that's going to promote you. God said, I'm the one that's going to cause men to give into your bosom. Whatever you've sown in the lives of people, whatever kindness you've shown people, you better believe God said he'll be a debtor to no man. God said, I will owe no man nothing but to love him. God said, when you give to the poor, you lend unto me. Whenever you give to people who are unfortunate, then you are. God said, I'm going to repay you for that. God is going to reward you for that. This negative cycle stops with you. That's right, you. Let the kingdom of darkness laugh. That's a facade. Because he doesn't want you to know who you are. He doesn't want you to believe that it stops with you. It does stops with you because it stops with you because you can understand it because you can look at how hard you're being fought. You can look at all the warfare that you're going through with. You can look at before you sow a seed. You're going to look at how the enemy is going to torment you. Why you shouldn't sow that seed. When you pick up your Bible to read it, you're going to see how the enemy is going to fight you with your sleep because he doesn't want you to feed your spirit. You are a spirit and you can't starve your spirit because if you starve your spirit, your life is going to go to ruins. God said, I'm stopping all this mess. God said, I'm stopping the hand of the enemy that's been coming for you generationally. God said, I'm stopping it. He said, I'm going to use everything that people did to you. I'm going to use everything that people tried to do against you. And I'm going to turn that thing around in your favor. God is going to get the glory out of your life. The more you are squeezed, the more you are crushed, the more you look like God, the more glory that God is going to get out of your life. So wherever you are, you have to know today without a shadow of a doubt that this thing ain't going to stop with you. It's going to stop to you with you right now. I want you to believe God more than you ever have. Believe on the Lord your God. God is able to do exceedingly. God is able to do abundantly. God is able to do more than you can ever ask or think according to the power of God that worked down on the inside of you. What are you believing God for? I want you to know God is big enough to do it. I want you to know that God is more powerful than you think. He can do it. God is going to do something for you that your mind cannot fathom because you are God's chosen person. God chose you to bring your family out of this mess. God chose you to bring your family out of this famine. That's why, family of God, people hate you and your family because God said you are the chosen one. He chose you because he wanted to. It's nothing so good about me. It's nothing so good about you. God chose you, and there's no devil in Hades that's going to stop God's plan from turning 
in your life. God said it's going to be so. God has willed it. Glory be to God. God has a scepter in his hand and he's passed that ephod to you. Did you hear me, people of God? God has passed that ephod to you. Yes, that power, God has passed it to you. So walk out your kingdom authority and sit and watch God do great and mighty things that you will never comprehend. It stops with you. Yes, you. The blessing begins with you. Yes, you. This negative cycle, it stops with you. Your God-ordained deliverance starts with you. Thank you for tuning in to our broadcast of You Are Enough. I'm your host, Nikki. It's such a pleasure to pray for you all daily, to encourage you to hang in there with God because you're not going to regret it, but you're going to regret it if you give up. Sometimes we don't do what's right long enough to see what God has for us because the enemy will destroy you in the process. God is going to do things that people said could not be done. You watch. You watch God work. You watch and pray. You keep working and praying. You keep believing and you keep praying. I don't care what it looks like. It doesn't matter what's falling off around you. It doesn't matter who walking away, who leaving you. It doesn't matter what's being taken around you. God said, I'm the God of the breakthrough. I'm the God of the restoration. Thank you for tuning in today, family. Jump over to our Instagram and Nikki G. McCray. Give us your support over there. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. Like and share our videos. Go back and revisit those pre-recorded lives and those pre-recorded videos because God has a word for you. Those of you who are asking how can you sow into to the ministry, all of that information is in the description box of the video. We're so grateful that we can come into your home to encourage you daily because we are helpers one to another. You're going to make it. This stops with you. God is halting that process. And God has given you God-ordained days of deliverance. You're going to have all these years restored, those years that you thought was wasted. God said they weren't wasted. God said it just wasn't time yet. It's time. God said in Ecclesiastes, there's a time and a season for all things. It's a season for you to be restored. It's a season for God to ordain breakthroughs and opportunities and miracles for you. God is ordaining this. Just like God ordains us and leads us into seasons where we are tested and purged, this is your summer season where God is going to remove all your distractions. God is going to remove all your delays and he's going to open the windows of heaven for you and pour you out opportunities that you thought you would never get. Now, don't forget God when he does it. Thank you for tuning in. God bless. Bye-bye.